Rosie. Hi. And it sounds like pissed. <laughs> everybody me again welcome back to x media x and another weekly vlog oh my goodness i look so brown in this viewfinder uh i've had the best week away it's been unbelievable i bloody loved it it was great um i was posting a few little bits on my instagram uh for you guys to check out so if you want to go over there i've saved all the story highlights it was a really fun week we just had such a laugh and really relaxed i have never felt so relaxed after a sort of like i say beach holiday we didn't really go to the beach but you know like like just a, a pool holiday ever apart from this one but my nose as usual <laughs> but yeah I just had such an amazing time we had so much fun together the food was amazing the resort was beautiful we stayed at a resort called the VH Atmosphere in Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic it was just incredible it wasn't a building site as we thought it might be because it was so cheap when we booked it um highly recommended adults only super quiet super relaxing yeah just loved it <laughs> just absolutely loved it so I am jet lagged to hell this morning and my neighbor upstairs has started to do some form of DIY so that's great <laughs> they really started about two hours ago and I'm like I really could have used a lion this morning uh, we got back at about like 6 a.m yesterday and we had an overnight flight and normally I can sleep on flights um because I just do so many of them recently um but I just couldn't switch off I just could not sleep for some reason so I was running on about two hours sleep yesterday, had a few naps, which obviously doesn't help with the jet lag. And yeah, just powering through back to work today. So um, I've had a bazillion deliveries, <laughs> quite a few that I need to go and pick up today. Some that are being re-delivered at some point. Um, the house is nice and tidy because I left it pretty good before we left. Got Toby back, he's in there somewhere. Toby! Hello! Did you miss me? Did you have a nice time with Wendy? He was so cute when I came to pick him up. He was like whimpering as soon as like I closed the boot. I was like, all right. <laughs> Are you excited to come home with me? Or he was just like really upset to leave Wendy. So yeah, he's come back a little bit podgy. So I feel like she's been feeding you lots and lots of lovely treats. But yeah, just had a really lovely time. It is so cold in this country. And I'm not just saying that because I've just come back from the Caribbean. It is actually really cold. So I'm going to go over to Tesco and get myself a little cinnamon roll. I'm going to make myself a coffee from the Nespresso. And I'm just going to go through my inbox with a little bit of sugar and some caffeine in my hand. Because I really bloody need it. And then I think for lunch I'm going to have a tomato soup. Because you can't beat tomato soup when you're cold, can you? Let's be honest. Um, yeah, not really much else to report today. Just taking this little wet dog out for a walk and the heavens opened so I've had to have a bath and I'm already having my dinner. It's like half past five because I'm just so hungry. The jet lag is killing me. So it's a frozen jacket potato and tuna with some salad because I've got nothing in the house. I have managed to work all afternoon until it's gone dark and to be fair it's 10 past nine no, 10 past nine 10 past seven and it's still not that dark which is great um i'm still working on a couple of things i'm organizing some new bumble events for you guys we've got two we've got, we've got three in april i've got two of them that have confirmed today very exciting i've got a feeling they'll have all sold out though by the time this goes live um so if you are interested in joining us for a bumble event make sure you join our facebook group which is bumble events bumble birmingham events search for that on facebook uh you'll find us on there and then you won't miss out because you'll get notifications um yeah we're doing like a manicure master class which is really fun and we're going to play ghetto golf which is so exciting i'm really excited for that so yeah i'm just sorting out the details for those now i've done really well today really really well um let's hope the productivity continues throughout the rest of the week good morning guys it's quarter to two and i didn't realize i've just been sat here doing my work and um, sorting stuff out for Bumble and writing up a blog post. And I looked at the clock and I was like, crap, <laughs> it's nearly 2 a.m. I'm absolutely exhausted. Uh, I think it's my jet lag. I just didn't realize what time it was, but hey, never mind. At least we got some stuff done. Um, so I'm gonna go to bed now <laughs> and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Oh, we didn't win the pub quiz. Disaster. Go 
Good morning everybody, happy Thursday. Uh, oh, the police are coming for me. I'm jet lagged to hell. When I spoke to you last night, it was like 2 a.m. I did not drop off to sleep. The last time I looked at my phone, it was like 3.20. So yeah, feeling a bit crap today. Just could not switch my brain off, couldn't sleep. And then just suddenly I was like, Ch gone. Um, so this morning I had a bit of a lie in, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I've just been on my phone call with Bumble. Is that my shopping? Oh, very exciting. Um, just been on my uh, weekly con call with Bumble, chatting through all the awesome events that we've got planned. Got some really good ones coming up, guys, so come and join that Facebook group. Um, yeah, and now I'm just going to crack on. So I haven't got Toby today. Matt has gone hiking up Snowdon, because that's the kind of stuff he does on his days off. Um, and he was like, do you want me to take Toby? And I was a little bit selfish and I kind of my original thought was no I want to be the first one to take him up there um but then I thought no I can't I've got too much work to do can't take the day off so fine he'll enjoy it you take him so I'm dog free which means I think I'm gonna move my schedule around and film today because I was gonna film tomorrow but I think I'm gonna twist things around and do that um so he's not bothering me <laughs> so I'm gonna film a video for you guys my battery is flashing oh my god my life's falling apart so yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna have some breakfast when the uh, shopping comes through my door, have a coffee, much needed, and then crack on with some stuff. So I'll probably catch up with you guys later. Oh, and tonight I'm going to see Wicked. <gasps> Very excited. Lunch today is salmon, sweet corn, quinoa, and salad. And I'm actually quite looking forward to it. I'm really into sweet corn at the moment, don't know why. I have just booked a farmhouse for my 30th birthday and I'm very very excited and um, I'm actually away on my birthday on a press trip which I don't know if I've told you guys yet I've definitely told the Patreon guys uh, but I haven't revealed it to you yet I'm just waiting for the flights to be booked and then once they're booked I'll, I'll um, share but yeah hopefully I'm going on a press trip which is going to be actually over my birthday um, but when I get back I've booked a farmhouse for all of my friends to come and stay in and it's got a hot tub and a pool table and it's just really really pretty it's gorgeous so yeah I'm really excited for that mum and dad have given me some money towards it as my birthday present because there's nothing really I want to be honest uh, or need right now so I just thought yeah let's have an experience for my birthday instead of stuff and yeah I'm really excited and everybody seems excited with me so just got to start collecting booze when it's on offer <laughs> throughout the month um, and then organise who's bringing what for food because I think they've got a barbecue and I'm hoping that the weather might be quite nice. Uh, yeah, it should just be really fun. So I'm very excited for my 30th birthday. I suppose I should be miserable about it because I'm getting old but I'm actually living my best life right now. So bring on 30. <laughs> The weather today is absolutely glorious. It's super sunny outside and I'm stuck in editing, miserable. Um, so I've just washed my hair, <laughs> put some curls in. I did a, a dry, dry shampoo, blue purple shampoo thingy majig. It's the one I've got from Matrix. Let me show you the bottle. Um, they're a new brand that I've been using. I really like them. Looks like this Matrix and it's called Total Results So Silver and the Brass Off uh, hair mask thing that brass off stuff you have to wash your hands straight away because it will turn them blue uh, and the rest of your shower if you don't wash it off uh, but yeah you kind of leave it on for five to ten minutes and it sort of takes down any brassy tones um my hair's like really nice and warm and super blonde after holiday but the edges were just getting a bit yellow so i can't really show you the difference i tried to take a picture but it doesn't show as much on camera as it does in real life but just sort of makes it a little bit more white blonde instead of yellow blonde so happy with that put my face on for the theater later um but i'm just gonna go and edit the um twinings video the first twinings video that i'm doing with them have i told you about that i don't know i announced it on instagram last night so yeah i'm doing a collaboration with twinings and doing three videos um with their new super blends range that they've just launched which are these lovely lovely like herbal green teas they're amazing um and i'm doing three different videos for three different people in my life that are there for me in different ways it's really cute so me and lucy filmed the first one last week which i'm gonna go and edit now um and yeah i've got two more to film so stay tuned for those i hope you like them i'm really looking forward to editing it uh, i was gonna film today but and just emails and bubble stuff ran away with me so i'm just not gonna have time matt's on the way over with toby so they're gonna be running around <laughs> i mean the two dogs not matt and toby uh, they're gonna be running around in a bit so yeah i think i'm just gonna edit today and then try and film again tomorrow 
feeling good though, feeling good, although I've got a massive headache thanks to this bloody jet lag. I'm just like downing loads and loads of water and it just doesn't seem to be enough, so I'm so dehydrated. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on and catch up with you guys in a bit. God, I look so tired. I give up. Jet lag. It is jet lag, I've got so much makeup on my face and I still look like shit. Anyway, we're in Birmingham. Oh. <laughs> it does this every time. 15 West Midlands Railway service to Four Oaks. Bear with. There we go. Every time I get my camera, it does that every single time. Um, so we're off to see Wicked. Very exciting. I've got Matt with me, who is yeah. Wicked's number one fan, who hasn't actually seen the musical, <laughs> who listens to the soundtrack all the time. So Sings I thought, it beautifully as well. No, he's terrible at singing. Oh no. Um, terrible at strong. <laughs> strong enough. Sorry, I'm trying not to fall on my face while I'm walking down all these stairs. So yeah, I'm very excited. This is going to be the fourth time I've seen Wicked. It's my favourite musical and I can't wait. And I'm not even that bothered that I can't attack the free bar because you don't need alcohol to enjoy Wicked. It's just bloody brilliant. Oh my goodness. Everything is green in the press room. It's literally like the Emerald City and I'm the happiest person ever. Even the peanuts. The peanuts aren't green. The lights are green. Oh my god. I swear he is the blondest person ever. No, thank you. Well, I've got lime and soda, which is actually pretty refreshing. Could get used to this also not drinking. Green. It is also green. I think they've done that on purpose. Good. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> Good morning everybody, happy Friday. Oh my goodness, Wicked was so good last night. Oh, just bloody love that show. And to be fair, the cast this time round on the tour were so good, like genuinely, really, really good, rivaling the West End good. Um, so I have woken up this morning with a killer cold. Not sure why, I'm just like, can't stop sneezing. And uh, my throat's a bit scratchy, so yeah, brilliant. As to be expected normally when you come back to reality after a holiday uh, and I'm still jet lagged to hell. <laughs> I didn't get to sleep until about 3am again last night so very tired but we're cracking on. I've um, got lots to do today, it's a very busy day and it's already like just past midday. I'm still in my PJs obviously. <laughs> I do that in the mornings, like, I really get into stuff and I'm like okay I'm going to jump in the shower and get ready and then I start answering emails or start on a project and then it's suddenly after 12 and I'm like ugh. I was on a roll, so I'm going to carry on. Um, exciting parcel has literally just turned up. I bought a gimbal for my Pixel 2 and my GoPro. So it ha it's like a steady cam kind of thing. Um, and I saw a few people in India using them. And I wanted one for ages. And I've done loads of research because the DJI one um, is really expensive. And I've managed to find... A cheaper one called uh, from a company called Zoo Zayu or something. If you guys want to know, let me know and I'll um, find out the details for you. But a couple of the people in India were using this exact one, and they said it's absolutely amazing. It really does work. It's half the price of the DJI one, and all the reviews say that people, some of the people in the reviews, have got both, and they said that this is just as good. So. I went for it and bought it in the hope that it's going to help me with my um, travel vlogs, making things a lot more smooth and yeah, just being just another sort of arrow to my bow. So I'm going to open that now. I'm not going to try and set it up because apparently it's quite tricky to set up, so I might leave it till tomorrow to do. Um, but once I've got it set up, I'll show you guys how it works. Ooh, look, it looks pretty. I really do want to play with it now, but. Oh, and that's my GoPro adapter. So this one comes with an adapter for the GoPro. Oh, I can't wait to play with this. I'm going to do it later though, because if I get sucked into this, I'll never finish my work. So I, considering I've been on such a roll, I'll just turn this TV off. Um, considering I've been on such a roll this week, I've just had an absolute nightmare. So the first video that I filmed with Twinings, which I did before I went away with Lucy, which went so, so well, I've just sat down to start editing it and all the files are corrupt. Like the the video is fuzzy and pixelated and like not half uh, like not there, but the audio is there, and I don't know how it's happened. I'm assuming it's my SD card. I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to stay calm because it's just a disaster, really. Like this is a a big campaign, something I'm so pleased to be working with them on, and the first video out of three, and this is what's happened. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just absolutely 
baffled and annoyed but trying to stay calm so yeah i've had a chat with them and we've managed to uh push the uh live date back a little bit because it was supposed to go live on wednesday and now it's going to go live on sunday so yeah i would really really appreciate lots of love on that video when it goes live on sunday because yeah sucks gonna have to film it all again but never mind i'm very lucky lucy has agreed to come and refilm that with me on monday so we're gonna get that cracking um so i decided to open up my <laughs> smooth shot to cheer myself up and you know what i've just turned it on and put my phone in it and it works straight away i know that you can link them up with the app and stuff uh, which is supposed to make it a bit better but it does everything i need it to do just completely on its own so i'm really pleased with that um yeah i might have a play around with it next week a little bit and maybe put some of the footage in these vlogs um but yeah i'm gonna have a go with my gopro in it now because apparently that doesn't balance as well but we shall see but it works really great with the pixel 2 um yeah very pleased with that but just trying to distract myself from the fact that my week right at the very end has just gone tits up even though everything was going so well before never mind so this is what it looks like with the gopro in Ta -da! it's got like a little thing and it just means that you can sort of move things around Woo and it stays um it stays steady so the way to use this is with, sorry it's not focusing, the way to use this is like you have to use it backwards so you can still see the screen um, and so it balances but it works pretty well. It's amazing and then obviously the phone just goes in there instead of this. It's just very clever. Like you turn it off look. Ooh, and it dies. <laughs> I love it. Very cool. Hey YouTuberinos, so I am off for a curry tonight, the, ver the first curry since I came back from India, so it better be good. <laughs> I'm going to this restaurant that I used to go to years and years ago called Anoki, and I know that they've got quite a few actually, I think they've got one on the A38, one in Derby and one in Nottingham I think. A lady that I used to go to uni actually owns it with her husband. Um, and yeah, I just haven't been for absolutely ages, so I thought, you know what, really fancy a good curry, and seeing as I'm not drinking, it means I can drive, don't have to worry about, like, cost of a taxi and stuff, so, yeah, I'm gonna go over there, over there, over there, because it's a little bit out of the way, so don't turn to go there. So I'm excited, I'm very excited, because I remember it being very, very good, um, but this is years ago, so I'm hoping that it's still the same. So it's disappointing, isn't it, when you, like, you remember somewhere being amazing. And then you go back and you're like, oh, not as good as it used to be. Anyway, so this is my outfit of the evening, my curry eating outfit. Ripped jeans, as always. These trainers, as always. Striped shirt, as always. And yellow scarf, as always. The uh, shirt's from, the top's from Primark, I think. Um, the scarf is from a market stall. The ripped jeans are from New Look that really need replacing. These are from New Look as well. And I'm just going to whack my denim jacket on because do you know what? It's actually pretty darn mild outside, which is very nice. And I look super brown, which I am still loving, by the way. Hey team, happy Saturday. I'm so tired. It's like half past 11. Um, and I need to leave by about half past 12 to go and meet Rosie for lunch, which I'm very excited about. But oh, I could do with another three hours in bed. This jet lag is really getting me this time. I've never been this bad with jet lag, apart from Australia was bad actually when I got there as well as when I got back. Like that was really bad. But with like a six hour difference, I didn't think it would be this bad. I'm just, I'm screwed. I didn't get to sleep until like 3 a.m. I'm really struggling anyway so i'm gonna make myself a coffee and uh then jump in the shower i am starting to sound like a man i'm getting a proper proper cold but we're gonna power through here's a little shot of toby and his wagging tail because he's not in the vlog enough you are so cute did you know that you're cute he's like yeah i know i'm cute and here's my squirrel. <laughs> Adulting problem. Don't you just hate it when you do a shop and you think you've like planned your week out pretty good with all the food and then you realise that something's going out of date before you're planning on using it. Really annoying. <laughs> Got chicken breasts. Do you reckon that they'll last one more day? I might risk it because I'm terrible at freezing stuff. I could, only because I freeze stuff, but then I don't know how to unfreeze it or how long you have to leave it out for to unfreeze it. And then I forget to take it out to defrost it and it just becomes a bit of a nightmare. I might text my mum. 
I'm having another coffee and taking it with me because life is honestly that bad today. I'm so tired. It's just not even funny. Right, I need a scarf, some form of scarf. Let's pick one. What about this thing? Should we go for that? Or maybe we should go for something a bit more springy, even though the weather is vile today. How about that one? I haven't worn that in a while. Let's go for that one. I need to have a scarf sort out because that's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm off to go and see Rosie. Uh, we've both been held up because Waze has just popped up and said, oh, the journey that you needed to set off for at half past 12, um, now you need to set off at 10 past 12. And this was when my makeup wasn't done and everything. So it's like 20 minutes early. So yeah, we're both gonna be a little bit late, which is pretty much standard for us when we meet up. But hopefully I will actually remember to stick a camera in her face because I know you guys all miss her. I miss her vlogs so much, but I totally understand why she, um, why she stopped doing them. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. I'm gonna go and have some lunch. Where are we? Hello, Rosie. Hi, oh, you've actually remembered to film me this time. Yeah, I know. I was going to say something about, I need to say to Amelia, you have to vlog it, otherwise it didn't happen. It didn't happen. We are at a place called, oh, what is it called? You guys recommended it to us on Twitter. I can genuinely don't know what it's called. Pierre, is it? I don't know. I'll find out, I'll let you know. But this is a food. It looks yummy. Thanks very much for the recommendation. You look beautiful home again that was lovely seeing Rosie had a proper little catch-up it feels like forever since we've actually seen each other even though we didn't realize how long it had been because you know like when you chat to people and you just sort of I don't know you keep up with each other on Facebook and all that kind of stuff and you chat to them regularly you just don't realize how long it's actually been since you saw them in real life it was amazing and the place that we ate at was called Peast and it was quite a novelty coming out of a pub not Peast at the end of it because I'm not drinking and it sounds like pissed. Hello, hello, I'm back in the car. It is currently 10 past eight and it's still slightly light. Oh, that's very exciting, everybody. Um, so tonight I'm off to Scott's housewarming party, which is awesome. We've been waiting for this for ages, bless him. He moved in like last year, but he's been doing it all out uh, and waiting till it's kind of done before he does the housewarming. So heading over there to chill out. Um, I don't actually know anybody else that's going. Oh, that's a lie. I do know Ali and Ross, but I haven't seen Ali since the Argos days. <laughs> like, back in the day. And it's really strange. It's one of those, like, where we're friends on Facebook, follow each other on Instagram and Snapchat and stuff, um, so know everything about each other's lives, but genuinely, I don't think we've met face-to-face -face for about 10 years. That's weird. So, I'm a little bit nervous actually going, um, but I'm going for Scott because I really want to see his house and I want to support him and obviously he's organised all this, it's going to be awesome. Um, but obviously I can't drink again, so it's going to be weird. Um, I've got some light elderflower presse and a lime. So that's what I'm going to be drinking tonight. Might even drink it out of a champagne flute so I feel a little bit fancy. <laughs> I tell you what, you save a fortune on booze, but you don't half spend a lot on petrol. I feel like I've driven so much today. Morning everyone, happy Sunday. So my mum and dad are on their way over today. Um, they're getting here in about 45 minutes. I need to do all of this washing up, sort that recycling out, and shower at some point as well and do something with my face. So yeah, time to get a wiggle on. Oh, I've just been so lazy this week with washing up. It's really bad. Um, but I'm just having a piece of fruit toast and a coffee to try and get myself feeling a bit more normal. Oh, you're so tired still. I'm really struggling with jet lag this time, but hey, I feel like I had a good night's sleep last night, and yeah, it's getting there. I think it's getting there. I'm just tired. So yeah, I think we're gonna take the little man out. What was going on with my hair? <laughs> I think we're gonna take the little man out for a WALK. Where is he? Don't know where he's gone. Oh, he was stood right there. Uh, take him out for a walk. Um, somewhere nice. If the weather stays dry, it's looking pretty grey and miserable, but hopefully it won't rain. Um, and then they wanted to go out for lunch well they wanted to go to like McDonald's or somewhere because it's like a little treat for them but I'm really trying to be good with my food and I'm going out for dinner tonight like a pub dinner so I am going to say no and just have chicken breast with some courgette and some passata and maybe a little bit of blue cheese and just have a really lean lunch I'm going to stay strong, resist the chicken nuggets. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll probably catch up with you later because I probably won't film when mum and dad are here. But uh, yeah, next time you see me, I'll hopefully be looking a little bit more human. 
Oh my goodness, I just fell asleep on the sofa for about two hours. I'm a terrible person. I was supposed to have a Skype call or a Google Hangout with one of my amazing patrons, Lily, and I just completely slept through it, just fell asleep on the sofa whilst I was watching TV. I feel so bad, but I've just come off the phone with her. She's absolutely lovely, so thank you so much, Lily. Really sort of cheered up my Sunday afternoon, because I'm just chilling with Toby, who is stealing things from the bathroom. Come here, oi, in. Bugger. Uh, yeah, he really cheered up my Sunday afternoon, so thank you very much for that. It's lovely chatting with you. Um, yeah, I'm feeling so poorly. Uh, I'm just absolutely knackered because obviously I didn't sleep very well. And then we did a really lovely dog walk today with mum and dad, and we were out for ages, just sort of walking around and taking pictures. And yeah, it was really lovely to see them. Um, but yeah, I just fell asleep on the sofa, <laughs> just crashed. And my throat is really, really sore. I'm starting to sound a bit like a man, so yeah, I feel like full-on man flu is here and to stay. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea to A, perk up and B, help my throat. And mum and dad bought me some Easter eggs, which is very exciting. So do you know what? I think I'm going to crack on with an Easter egg. Because um, I was supposed to be going out for dinner, um, and now I'm not going out for dinner. So I've got some extra calories. Let's get on that Easter egg. It's quarter to seven and I'm already in my PJs because I just feel like crap if I'm honest. I feel so exhausted, like so tired and not well. So I think I'm going to leave the vlog here. Toby's driving me mad. He just keeps bringing all of his toys out and chewing them and like starting to destroy them all. I'm glad it's not my stuff he's destroying, but I don't know what's gotten into him and it's really annoying me. So yeah. I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the evening. Probably go to bed at about 9 p.m. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry there's not a lot really gone on, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Sorry about that. Just prizing a pop sock out my puppy's mouth. <laughs> Look at this lunatic. <laughs> I feel like me again. Sounds lethal, but gotta try it.